Hello nurses and hello world! It's been a long time. This is me, Nurse Nisel, and welcome back to my channel. is solely for demonstration purposes only as interpreted by the actor based on her understanding of the specific skill with reference to the Royal Marsden 10th edition. All information presented are public domain materials accessible to the relevant governing organization's websites. Subtle similitude may be noticeable, however, this is not intended to be definitive guide to the NMC Part 2 Test of Competence or the OSCE examination. This can be helpful materials for overseas nurses or internationally educated nurses to learn and adapt to the UK clinical setting and transition effectively into practice and yes today I'm going to show you how to do a subcutaneous injection because the NMC marking criteria TOC 2021 has now been changed again that was last December So now I am going to show you the updated version. But before we do that, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post new ASCII videos, then hit the notification bell. Before I forget, if you have any question for me, please click the join button and join our membership. So your question will be pop up to the top and I'll be able to answer your question as soon as I can. Alright, as soon as I can. So what are you waiting for? Hit that join button and become a member. On this station, you have to safely administer medication and like I always say if you are going to administer medication please remember your 5R right patient right medication right route right dose and right time and candidate always remember that you have to document in this procedure okay you have to put your full name signature time and date remember if it's not documented it didn't happen Last but not the least, if you did not perform in accordance to the marking criteria and if you didn't follow the correct injection technique, that would result into a fail. And we don't want that nurses, do we? Are you ready nurses? Very well then, let's start! In this procedure, you will be given the scenario or the prescription. Please read the prescription carefully. Okay, let me just gel my hands. By backward and forward stroke from palm to palm. Right palm over the left dorsum, vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlock. Rotation rubbing of the thumb. Rotation every finger clasp and rotation rubbing of the wrist. Let it dry for 30 seconds. I'm gonna approach on the patient, making sure that the scene is safe. And I need to provide privacy and dignity for the patient by closing the doors, the windows, and the curtains. Hello there. Hi. Hi, I'm Nurse Giselle, and I will be your nurse for today. Oh, hello. I am here today to give you your subcutaneous injection, which is your insulin levimir. Is that alright with you? Yes. Okay, Levimir is a long-acting insulin, okay? This is to help with your blood glucose level. Okay. Okay, but before I start, would it be okay if I just check your ID? Okay. Alright, can you please tell me your full name? Andre Miguel. Andre Miguel, yes. And, and your date of birth, please. September 4, 1988. Okay, September 4, 1988. And your address? Uh, 1000 Edinburgh Avenue. It's the same with the prescription. Um, can you please tell me if you have any allergies to food, medication, or latex? Uh, yes, I'm allergic to penicillin. Penicillin. Okay, don't worry. I won't give you any penicillin derivative, okay? But can I just ask, what kind of allergic reaction you get from that? I got rushes. Rushes. Okay, don't worry. 
Like I said, I don't. I will not give you any penicillin derivative today. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, what do you want me to call you, by the way? Just call me Andre. Andre, okay. Are you comfortable at the moment? Yes, I am. Uh, do you have any pain at all? Um, no. Okay. No, so from 0 to 10, 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst, do you mean 0? Yes. Okay. So, um, before I give you your insulin level, would it be okay if I just ask, um, did you check your blood glucose level this morning? Yes, I did. Um, can you tell me the level? I think it was 7.5. 7 7.5 7 millimoles per liter, is that it? Yes. Okay, so that's within the normal range, so I need to give you now your regular insulin if that's alright, yeah? Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna prepare the articles that we needed for today. When was the last time you had your meal? I had my breakfast at around 6.30 in the morning. Oh, okay, it's fine. So today, uh, at the moment, it's now 8 in the morning, so I'm gonna prepare now the articles and I'll be right back. If you need me, please just give me a shout, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Just gonna gel my hands again. Let it dry for 30 seconds before leaving the patient. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna wash my hands using the steps of hand washing. First, wet your hands. Obtain some soap with five backwards and forward stroke from palm to palm. Right palm over the left dorsum and vice versa. Fingers interlaced. Fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of the thumb and vice versa. Rotational rubbing of the palm with finger clasp. Rotational rubbing of the wrist. Now rinse it thoroughly with water. Pat it dry with clean towels and dispose it in the domestic bin. Now I'm going to read the prescription, okay? And I'm going to put it here for you to view. Okay, the prescription says, You are visiting a new patient at home who requires medication, insulin, levimir injection, patient's blood glucose level 7.5 millimoles per liter. All the equipment you need is provided. Please administer the medication using the prescription below. It is today and it's at 8 in the morning. So, patient details and address, date of birth. We got here Mr. Andre Miguel. Address is 1000 Edinburgh Avenue, enter 317HA, and the date of birth is uh, 4th of September 1988. He is allergic to penicillin, and the reaction is rushes. Okay, drug name, we've got insulin levimir, uh, dose, roots, and frequency, we've got 14 units, subcutaneous, once a day. There's the name, signature of the doctor, and the date. So it says here, Dr. Shania Ishii, there's a signature, and the date is today. This prescription is valid and legible. I am going to arrange now the articles that is needed, but before that, Ms. Examiner, is this trolley clean with soap and water and ready for use? Yes, it is. Okay. So now, I'm gonna get all the articles that I need. Ms. Examiner, is this uh, tray disposable? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna use a disposable tray. Show my hands. Let it dry for 30 seconds. The first one I need is the insulin levimir. I'm going to compare it with a prescription. So, insulin levimir, insulin levimir, 100 international units per ml. Expiration date is 3rd, 2025. So, I'm going to put it here. Okay, next one we've got is alcohol swab. Expiration date is 11, 2025. So, I'm going to put it here. So, the next one we've got here is insulin syringe. Expiration date is 5th, uh, 4th, 2024. Pair of gloves. Wear my apron. And I'm gonna go now to my patient. Gel hands. Let it dry for 30 seconds. 
Again, taking into consideration that we need to provide privacy and dignity. So I'm going to close the door, windows, and curtain if I hadn't done it a while ago. Okay? So I am back. I got here all the things that I needed. Let me just wear my gloves. So before I prepare the medication, can you please again uh, tell me your full name, please? Andre Miguel. Andre Miguel, and your date of birth? September 4, 1988. And your address, please? 1000 Edinburgh Avenue, NR 317HA. And you got allergy to a medication, which is um, penicillin, is yes. that right? Yeah, okay. And what kind of allergic reaction do you get from penicillin? I got rushes. Rushes, okay. So I can confirm that I am with the right patient. Are you comfortable? Do you have any pain at all? Yes, I am comfortable and have no pain. Okay. Let's just first identify the injection site. So it can be, you can have it on your arm or on your tummy. So where do you want it? On my arm. On your arm, okay. Now that we have identified the site of injection, where, where did you have your last injection? I had it on my tummy. On your tummy, okay, because we need to rotate the area of injection, especially if you are having regular in insulin injection, okay? okay? Can I have a look? Yeah. Okay. Assessing now the injection site for any signs of inflammation, edema, infection, rushes, and skin lesions. So there's no signs and symptoms of that. I can see that the injection site is clean, so there's no need for me to clean it. However, if required, you have to clean that site with isoprophyl alcohol, 70%, which is your alcohol swab, okay? And let it dry for 30 seconds. At this point, I am going to show you how to clean it. But again, if you have assessed that the site is clean, there's no need to clean it. But I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So again, let it dry for 30 seconds. Clean the rubber septum of the vial using alcohol wipe and let it dry for 30 seconds. So I'm going to let it dry here for 30 seconds. Open the syringe packaging without touching the key parts. Now we have to withdraw the required amount of medication. On this example, my prescription says 14 units, okay? So make sure you read your prescription carefully. This is now the change in the NMC test of competence as of December 2023. We don't need to recap this needle. Don't recap, okay? So now I am going to have another registered nurse to check it or just ask your examiner to check it. Double checking may not be necessary in the community. However, make sure that the examiner mention it from the beginning before you start your procedure, okay? So Ms. Examiner, if you could just check. All right, 14 units. So I'm going to give you now the injection, if that's all right with you. Okay. Okay. With my non-dominant hand, I'm going to pinch the skin around the injection site. So I'm going to hold the syringe like a dart in a 90-degree angle. I will inform now the patient. Andre, sharp scratch. In a 90-degree angle, I'm going to depress the plunger slowly over 10 to 30 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 i'm gonna wait for a few seconds to diffuse the medicine 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay i'm gonna rapidly remove the needle and release the pinch 
if your insulin syringe have a safety device you can activate it now but this one doesn't have any i just bought this one in amazon so there's nothing in here but normally in the hospital setting there is a safety mechanism in which you have to apply after the injection this is to lock the needle in there to prevent needle stick injury okay at this moment there's nothing to do so just say if there is apply the safety mechanism i'm gonna put it now in the sharps bin I'm just giving you your regular insulin levomir injection. I advise you not to massage the area to prevent the risk of tissue damage, okay? Or if there is bleeding, you can use a gauze and apply gentle pressure. I'm gonna dispose none sharp in the clinical waste bin. Okay. For this medication, this insulin, you have to keep it on your tray until you have recorded the batch number. Okay, I'm gonna put it here for a while. Remove now my glove. Dispose it in the clinical waste bin. Okay, I'm gonna gel my hands. Let it dry for 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna document. Um, Andre, would it be okay if I just document for a bit? Okay. All right. For this insulin, I need to label it and make sure I put the date when it was open. Okay? Okay, um, Andre, I get your insulin here. I'm gonna put it in your fridge. I have labeled it with the date I have opened it, okay? Okay. Okay, now that we've finished the injection, are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Do you have any pain at all? No, I'm not in pain. Okay, if you feel that something is not right and you feel these signs of symptoms of hypoglycemia, such as fast heartbeat, shaking, sweating, dizziness, nausea, nervousness or anxiety, uh, please do call 999 if that's an emergency or if you need any information regarding your health, please call the GP or your district nurse, okay? Okay. Thank you very much for today. I'm going to stay here for the next 15 minutes. But afterwards, like I said, if there's an emergency, you can call 999. And also, if you need anything from your GP or your district nurse, you can also call. All right? All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. All right. For this tray, I'm going to dispose it in a clinical waste bin. And for this trolley, I'm going to wash it with soap and water. Then, I'm going to wash my hands using the steps of hand washing. Also, if you provided privacy and dignity from the beginning by closing the windows, curtains, and the door, you have to remove it now in accordance to your patient likes, okay? You can now open the doors, the windows, and the curtain. And that's the end of subcutaneous injection. If you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post more OSCE videos, then hit the notification bell. If you have any question for me, please click the join button and become a member. So any question that you get for me, it will be pop up to the top and I'll be able to see it right away. And I will reply as soon as I can. This has been Nurse Yourself. See you on the next one. Bye! Our first shout out for today goes to a Paula Agra9441. Congratulations to at Easter Lim8866. Thank you for joining the membership at Hamida Abdulaziz2554. I'm glad that you think my videos are awesome at Alpo67. Shout out to you. To the Oski Passers this month of March, congratulations!